A wet night in store for all concerned. Good evening and welcome. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And we've got potentially exciting league action coming up on the menu for you. It's Porto and they take on Morirense. Thanks Derek. Well often we talk about the tactic. Well it didn't worry the keeper. Oh, he's given the ball away. Robbed them. This looks more than decent. He's using his body to good effect. Couldn't quite hang on. And relief as the keeper holds on. Well, he reacts so quickly, doesn't he? That's a great bit of work from him. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Well, no card from the referee, Stuart. But I think it's good refereeing. He's just letting everybody know who's in charge here. Chance to play it in. Over the byline. Hence, a goal kick. Well, the fact of the matter is the home side lead the league in goals for the best attack in the league statistically. Well, their forwards should be full of confidence. They've been in fantastic form of late, and it bodes well for the neutrals today. Hopefully, we're in for an entertaining match. Felipe Pires. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. This looks promising. Still could be dangerous. Well, they can keep possession now. Otavio. Well, you have to think they're going to take the lead at some point because they're really looking dangerous at the moment. A glorious chance. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Well, we wondered if this deal was going to be done. In fact, it has now been done, Stuart. Well, he's a great talent. Hopefully, this move will see him play at his best week in, week out. It's a really good move for everybody. Yambor. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now, a throw-in. He's lost it. And a poor ball. And a fine cross. Well, mopping up defensively. And a strong tackle. And the keeper has possession of it. It's opening up for them. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Intercepting it intelligently. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Firing it towards goal. Well, flinging himself up the ball. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, it still could be dangerous. Well, let's see about the cross. Under pressure to get it away. Is this the moment? Could be. Oh, keeper dealt with it. And he's fired over the corner. It might still be problematic. Well, he met it so well, but he couldn't quite get the placement right. A bit unlucky, really. Oh. 
One minute of stoppage time has been added on. The cross is on. On a struggle to get it away properly. And firing it to the near post. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Can he convert? Real chance. So that will be all. The first 45 minutes have come and gone. A keenly contested first half. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Delivered into the box. A deft clearance. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Now, was that the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity? And the referee didn't have much choice. A sending off it is. Yeah, no complaints there. That's a sending off all day long. He plays it short. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Well, able to close down the short. Crossing opportunity. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Breaking at pace. Can they take advantage? Well, they've solved the problem for now, but let's see. Well, a fantastic counter-attack as they move through the gears, but not a brilliant end product. Well, everything looked good until the finish, but that shows how dangerous they are on the break. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Otavio. It might be on for them. A goal! The opening statement of the match. A richly deserved lead. And now they can celebrate! Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. And they continue to advance and a lot of options here. Chance to run at them. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace, the keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Well, a second goal for them here. On attacking possibilities. Can he find the net? Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Philippe Swash. Oh, in with a chance! And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Well, a pity that. It looked promising, but that's going to be claimed by the keeper.
Well, Porto have certainly tried to control the flow of the game. Oh, wait a minute, Stewart. Look what's happening. And a goal to increase their advantage to three. Can they be stopped? Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Really getting stuck in. And the ball's gone. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Can he find someone at the far post? Well, it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Substitution time as is here. Nicola Yambor. And a throw in it's going to be. This is looking threatening. Jesus Corona. Five minutes to go. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. Well, the seconds are ticking away and the home side in control. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, the result has never really been in doubt, has it? They've created so many chances with some brilliant attack in play. I think they've looked an outstanding team today. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Crossing possibilities. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Is this the moment? That's great goalkeeping. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, as I keep saying... Just a couple of questions for you. Thanks so much for answering our questions. Our camera lens trained on one man in fantastic form and the top scorer in the league. Can he add to his tally today, live on EA TV? Is this on Stadio 
Hello everyone, you know some footballers enjoy a rainy day, not sure fans always feel that way, but an exciting match in prospect nonetheless. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we've got pulsating league action coming up for you. What might we see today, Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. Here's the starting 11 for Porto. Yeah, the same formation and the same sort of game plan. So this will all be about which individuals can get the better of their opponent. This will be a tough battle. And they kick off here. Dangerous looking attack. And now they have the ball back. Free kick awarded then by the referee. And a bit short with the clearance. And options in the centre, but strong defending. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Who can he pick out? Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Well, no damage done. Well, Raul Jimenez, a man who knows how to finish with the very best of them. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him in this match? Oh, Derek, big moment here. And that would have been quite the early boost for them. Well, it may be early in the game, Derek, but that chance has to be taken. It's a poor finish. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. We're going to see the first yellow card of the game. The referee not standing on ceremony. Well, he's under pressure now. It's a long time to be on a booking. Bruno Costa. Well, for FC Porto, just what they wanted. A win last time out against Morirense. How will they fare today, Stuart? Yes, that was the all-round team performance, wasn't it? They could have won by more than 3-0. Their fans absolutely loved it. Today, I think we'll see them dominate the play, create good chances and win the game. Let's hope they play at their best. Lotte. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. Now, potential danger. was there for him but unable to find the target well he certainly went for power but the accuracy just wasn't there he should have scored that
Hackman. Murillo. Joao Afonso. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful, but a good piece. Well, he's dicing with trouble here, having already been booked. And his day is done. Second yellow card, Stuart. Well, I have to say, it was coming. Why was he not taken off earlier? Uribe. Jesus Corona. The cross is on. Well played in from the flag, but not to any great effect. Went in strongly, decisively. Very quick thinking there. Murillo. Good pass. Good options at the back post here. And the problem not completely solved. Sergio Oliveira and Diaz has it opportunity to deliver the cross and no nonsense defensive clearance he's going forward well here Murillo so a throw in here Wendell and Diaz has it and the referee takes exception to the challenge free kick well they're sitting ever deeper can they forge ahead and that attack going up a dead end and the keeper has the ball Oliveira crossbar is still reverberating and good pressure high up the pitch oh beating his opponent with ease and a body in the way can't get the shot through defensive excellence there that is that for the pier well as we highlight him you've got to say he hasn't been Into the second half then, and these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. And options in the centre. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Can someone get on the end of this? And a time for cool heads. Now can they create something? And he might be in here. Surely. Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top-class save. Just look how he reacts. And over comes the corner. And not the clearance.
We've got some questions for you. Thank you, that's all the questions we've got for you. 